Hi and welcome to another episode of Making Things. Today I'll show you how to insert these insert nuts without tearing them out and also how to use them on hardwood without running into issues. Right. So normally when you use these insert nuts they will recommend that you use a 3 8 bit and the insert driver which snaps in and holds the the nut in place. But the problem you'll get is uh, 3 8 is sometimes, and uh, in fact often not enough, and uh, these little grooves they've cut for the insert driver, uh, they, they just strip and then you end up with sharp edges. So I'll be showing you the difference between using their recommended 3 8 um, bit versus using a 13 30 seconds bit, so that's only a 30 uh, second of an inch more and uh, using uh, an alternative driving method as well. So let's start by using the driver in a 3 8 hole. There you go. At the end it was slipping a little bit, that's okay. It's because uh, it's it pushes itself off. But still by slipping a little bit, um, I do have a little bit of chipping. So. I really don't like these drivers. Now we're going to try this in a 13 30 seconds hole. Now this should really not have any issues because we've got more space and it's softwood. I'll be testing these for strength later using the, dr the driving method. So the alternative method is I use quarter 20 bolts along with the appropriate driver for the bolt and I use a 3 8 um, long bolt if possible that way if you're supposed to be if you don't have a, a, a through a, like a, a hole through the piece of wood the bolt's not going to be an issue so we'll start in the 3 8 hole let's do the same again for the 3 16 once uh, I mean uh, uh, 13 uh, 30 seconds and what do you know it's perfectly straight I really like using these bolts instead of the driver. I have uh, so fewer troubles. I mean, you, you have so much more strength when you're when you're driving it, and you can actually control uh, your, your work much more precisely. All right, so let's start with a through the through the hole test. I'm not going to go too hard on these. I mean, they're not necessarily meant for this kind of impact. So I, yeah, neither of these moved. Um, this is not an issue. So it's not like you're substantially weakening uh, you know, the device by doing this. Let's try again. Put a bit more strength in it this time. And still no issues. In fact, if anything, I'm guessing the threads are probably going to start bending soon. Just because it's brass, but not even. And now for the shear test. So on the shear test, the 13 30 seconds is moving more easily than the 3 eighths. So again, the 13 30 seconds does lose a little bit of, uh, of its ability to take that kind of impact on on softwood, but really that's not what these insert drivers are meant for. I, what I was trying to see really was to see if it would fail catastrophically, and, and it really doesn't. Um, and I mean, if you've got this, you know, if you've got two of these on a piece of wood and, you, you, and you've clamped something through with it, um, it, 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 it won't be able to move in the same way anyways, because you're gonna have other other points of, of leverage in there, so. Now the real test, hardwood. This is where I run into real problems, and I mean just destroying these things when I try to use them uh, with the driver, and uh, even with the nut method, because it's able to apply enough force to actually force the, the sorry, with the bolt method, because it's able to really apply enough force to get the nut in there um, even though the hole is too small I've had them flare up and just get completely 
bonded mechanically bonded to the nut uh, from to the bolt. So this is where the 13 30 seconds really becomes necessary. So let's start with a 3/8 hole. There you go. Yep. It failed only on one side so far, but I mean, I'm only halfway through. Um, I don't know if you will be able to see this, but essentially the driver slot is now tapered. So there's no way you're ever going to be able to use the driver to finish this job. Now let's try with the bolt method. Again, this is going to fail. The 3 8 hole is not sufficient. Um, the instructions you get with these types of things are just garbage, I guess. But now if I try to remove the nut, I mean the bolt, it probably... Oh! So I managed to get the bolt out on this one. It didn't flare up and, and uh, mechanically bond to the to the bolt, but I've actually had that happen and actually it's you can't tell, but it's really hot right now. There's a lot of friction. There's way too much friction on this. And now we get the opposite issue. Um, whereas in the soft wood with the larger hole, it traveled a little bit more easily. Um, in the hard wood, what happens is that there's just so little give that if if the grain cuts in a way or another, it just you 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 can't control this. It'll just go whichever way it goes. And so they're they're both crooked. Um, now using the thirteen thirty second hole, let's start with the insert driver. All right, so it's chipping, but it's actually going in quite a bit more easily, which is what we expected, of course. I'm really careful, I may be able to finish this one, but it has started, there you go, I've got little flakes of brass all over the place now, it's exploding on me. <sighs> yep, yeah, I was trying to be careful, but not happening, it almost made it all the way through before breaking. Uh, to be fair, with 13-30 seconds, sometimes the driver does work, but again, <laughs> sometimes is not good enough when you then have to get these out and they cost you, you know, 50 cents to a dollar a piece. So, and now last but not least, 13 30 seconds hole in maple with the bolt. Will you look at that? A perfect insert. Conclusion is, if you're going to be using hardwood, use a 13 30 second bit and some other method of driving your, your nut. Um, if you're just using, you know, a bolt with a, a, a Robertson screwdriver head, just do that, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just don't use these, these terrible insert drivers. Even in softwood, you lose a little bit of shear strength, but the, the pulling strength is, the, the, you know, for our kind of use, pretty much unchanged. I mean, I was, I was whacking at it and it wasn't moving. Um, and with the, with the full, full length control you get on the nut when you're using a, a different alternative driving method, you get a lot more control over how you're inserting that nut and it's going to, it's going to be less likely to go all crooked on you. Anyways, I hope this was helpful to you. If you like this, please comment, like, subscribe, Check out my Instructables for more details. Have a good day.